Today, I'm gonna to show you how to wire a five pin Bosch style automotive relay. So this is a five pin automotive Bosch style relay. It's called a five pin because there's five pins on the bottom. Now this one happens to have a diagram right on the top of it to show you exactly how it's wired, but it can still be a little bit confusing. On the bottom, you'll see that each pin has a number. You'll see 30, 86, 87 on top, 87A in the middle, and then 85 on this side. Now each one of these has to be wired properly for the relay to work. I've actually created a circuit here that is hooked up to a battery, and you can see that it actually turns on and off. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to wire this so that you can make yours work the same exact way. All right, let's talk about pin 30 first. Pin 30 goes to the battery, but you wanna have a fuse in between. So you start with the battery, run a wire through a fuse, and then down and around to pin 30 on the relay. Pin 87 is on the opposite side of the relay of pin 30, and it sends power out to your accessory, whether it be a fuel pump or light or whatever. In this case, I just have a bulb hooked up. Your accessory will also need a ground wire coming off of it, which you'll see right here. Pin 86 is next, and that is what goes to your switch. Now, you'll have power coming through a fuse, just like you did with pin 30, but you'll also have a wire going to the switch because you need to send power to the switch. On the other side of the switch, you'll have a wire going to pin 86 on the relay. That is what controls the power going from 30 to 87 because all you're doing with a relay is you're jumping power from pin 30 to pin 87 and you're controlling it with the 86 and 85 circuit. So once again, power comes in through a fuse to your switch and then from your switch to pin 86. Pin 85 could not be easier. It's right on the opposite side of 86, and it comes out the relay, and it goes right to the ground. You can ground it to the chassis itself, or if you want, you can send it all the way back to your battery. Pin 87A is the last one, and it's right in the middle of the relay. The way that it works is it sends power from pin 30 to pin 87A at all times, except when you flick the switch. When you flick the switch, you'll see the other circuit is turned on and pin 87A no longer has power. So that's how it works. Basically the power comes in through the fuse and then it goes in pin 30 and out pin 87A at all times. But when the relay clicks over, it takes away power from 87A and sends it to 87 instead. That's the way pin 87A works. Now this would be used if you had fog lights and high beam lights. A lot of cars will turn off the fog lights if you have your high beams turned on. But if you have your fog lights on, you can also have your regular headlights on. And then as soon as you turn on your high beams, your fog lights turn off. That is one example of when you would use an 87A. Many people just don't even use it at all, or they'll buy a relay with only four pins and it won't have an 87A at all. Hopefully this video was able to help you out. If you have any questions, certainly leave them down in the comments and be sure to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. Oh, and if you have Instagram, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Ratty Muscle Car. So, follow me there, and hopefully we'll see you next time.